Welcome back everyone, welcome back to some more Let's Play Sands of Salzar. This will be part 21 of our Let's Play. In the last episode we were working for the Darken uh, Queen to, to uh, get her to sign the treaty, which we're kind of working on uh, at the moment. What the hell's I looking at? Can we... Weren't we doing a thing here? I thought we were doing a job here, but maybe we caught them? Oh no, meeting with Jihan, right, gotcha. We need to wait three days. So let's just burn some time, I guess. Man, it does not like doing the big, big bomb, but the big meteor strike is not, not great. If there's a ton of enemies on screen. Uh, right, okay, so if we're doing that for Rebia... Can we... Well, I guess a Nazira here. The Deeb are at... Aren't they at Snow Ridge? But I guess they're not anymore. Hmm. Maybe I need to ask someone where they are. Okay, so someone in... Someone in Half Moon Hills Bazaar that can tell us where... Okay, the Akal are going to be tricky. Let's go the Deeb. So where is Ruha? Oh, we don't have anyone to ask. Okay. Can't get into Half Moon Hills Bazaar. Where can I get to? Where have we helped here? I think we've helped Golden Bazaar? I think? Do we do a thing there? I guess it doesn't matter. Maybe they'll just be like a wandering adventurer that can tell us where Ruha is. Plus, certainly going to take two more days, so by the time we get up there, talk to someone and get back, it's probably going to be time to go and talk to Jihan. Uh, perfect. You. Uh, can I talk to you about something? Uh, a question about someone. Uh, Ruha. The Afreed Void Master. Do you know where the Afreed Void Master is? Yeah, okay, where they are, I have no idea. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, Ruha is who I'm after. Uh, they're not on this list. What's that, Mr.? No, I don't think they are on that list. I have Nura. <laughs> Where is Nura? She's right there. It is Ruha, right? Find Ruha. Hmm. Okay, well maybe we can get Ludo Khan. I think I saw him on there. Uh, question about someone. Ludo Khan. Lotus Kabir. I don't have Ludo Khan either. Maybe they're too far away. Let's try, what about Nura? Uh, can I talk to you about something? Question about someone. Yeah, see, I think maybe they're too far away. Or maybe it's because they're at war? So they don't know where the person is? That could be it as well. Well, where is Uznu? Uh, close to Redstone Valley. Okay, that, that makes sense. Uh, we do have nine grand. Is there anything we really want? Do we go to a skill merchant? Phase gate. Hmm. Nah. Uh, wrestler. 
Okay. No luck there, but I, I think it's either because they're at war or they're just too far away. They have no idea who that person is, so... Let's worry about this meeting with Jahir... Oh, sorry, Jihan at the moment. We'll bop some roaming groups. We'll deal with Jihan. Right, and I just send those guys out and I just do nothing. Yeah, these Church of Radiance guys are not that tough. Not that tough at all. Anything fun over here? Off the beaten track where we haven't been before? Eh, not really. There's a little spider beast. He's kind of fun. Spider beast, spider beast. Does whatever a spider beast does. Oh god, it's real bad. I think I've been webbed up. That's not what you want. Thankfully, we have enough people that it doesn't really matter. Can we upgrade our our sandworms actually? Promote them to queens? I think we need ironstone. I uh, can probably do that though. That'll be a bit of a bit of a project. Oh, they've got a mine. That's a good good uh, start. Nice. Some ironstone and some wood. Definitely grab that. Uh, how much do we need? We need like 630, wasn't it? Do you know how much we needed? 638, yeah. So we'll see if we can get just a little more... A little more iron stone, just a little smidgen. Uh, look, just give us a trade permit. Just give us the whole lot and we'll sort it out from there. Uh, I'll take the iron stone for sure. I will take the wood. And that'll give us enough to upgrade our sandworms. Needs to be combined into eight max troops. Oh man, I need more sandworms. I'm maxed down on squads too. That's a bit tedious. Um, I could get rid of the Arctic Wolf Alphas, because they're only a tier 3 unit, so they're not actually that great. At least the Sandworm Queens are tier 5. She was that a bit of wood there? Snarf that up. Yoink. Hmm. I don't remember where I got those Sandworms. How am I going to fuse them into 8? Maybe that's not going to happen. Is there anything else I can upgrade? I need some jade for that. I could do that. Nazir Crow Infantry. Can I get more of those? Not really. Could have upgraded the Herbalists, I guess. No, I need 40. Okay. But didn't have enough jade for that. Alright, we'll go back to Half Moon Hill's Bazaar. And if I don't rush it... Oh, we're here. That's irritating. We'll do one more fight and that should carry us over. Uh, manual battle, please. Summon the boys. Blast this. Shoot that. Fire out the bullets. And we pretty much won. I will say, considering those, uh, considering those wolves are tier 3, they really do not die. Compared to a lot of my other things, they're like tier 4 and beyond, and I still lose one or two of them every now and again. Those bloody wolves just do not give a shit. Alright, we'll grab this. Uh, an abandoned mine. That is pretty good sounding. What do we got? Ooh, pixies. Ooh, that's definitely not mine. Giant like giant light fields are definitely not mine. Nice, we've got some jade. Oh, like two. Jesus. Jade takes you a fair bit to uh a fair bit to get, doesn't it? Does does not come in quickly. It's kind of barely trickles in. Kind of sucks. 
Uh, who was I talking to here? Oh god, I do not remember what I was doing here. Jihan has found Dahlia. Meet him at the forest by the lakeside to the north. Okay, cool. So we literally just go to the north here, where we were before. <laughs> Unless it's like here. Ooh, armored horse. Not as cool as the wolf. To the north of Half Moon Hills Bazaar, right? Am I not in the right place? Take her back to- speak with Jihan and take Dali. Oh, it's all the way up there. Oh, it's literally where we were before. <laughs> Fair enough. I had a feeling deep in my gut. Okay, Jihan. I have the one you were looking for. What happens next does not concern me. Jihan's servants bring forth a young woman with her hands tied behind her back. Her head is covered by a sack and from her muffled cries it seems that her mouth has been gagged as well. Here she is, Dahlia. An apothecary who once served the Dokken. My end of the bargain is fulfilled. Only you and Dahlia remain. You pull the sack off her head and ungag her. She gasps at air and glares at you. Why does Rabia want you? Hmm. <laughs> Maybe I can help you. No. Would your life be in danger if you were handed over to Rebia? Doesn't concern you. Doesn't look like she's interested in talking. Well. Sounds like she gets handed over to Rebia. Sounds like not my problem. Uh, we're going to go back to Pepperigio Village, since that's kind of their capital. I think it is. It's where Rebia always hangs out. Which makes me think it probably is. So I'll probably start with Rebia, then we'll do Husnu, because he's probably the next easiest one. And then the Deeb and the Umbra Hills ones, or Umbra Cliffs, are going to be a bit tougher. The D because it's going to be hard to find their leader, and the Umbra Cliffs because it's just a fucking hellhole that I really am sick of going back to. And then the Akal, honestly, I don't even know what we're going to do about that. Because they really do hate us, don't they? They're only negative 12. I think that means they're not at war with us, they just don't like us. I think that means they weren't, they're not like actively hostile, they're just gonna give us bad trade deals and stuff. Which is not too bad. Like, I think we can deal with that. I guess if I just go up to a car lands and wander around for a bit, um, wait until like a villager party is attacked by some bandits and then just step in, that will bump me up. Although last time I tried that, it wouldn't let me join anyone because they were both both uh, enemies of me. Okay, Rebi is not here. Do we have anyone that can tell me? You. Uh, I want to talk to you about something. Question. Rebi. As far as I know, she's in the service of Darkin. I heard they were close to Zagros Mountains. Well, that's not very helpful. The Zagros Mountains is an entire area. So maybe they mean that they're like here? Maybe that means they're just like over here? Is that them right there? That blue dot running towards the Zagros Mountains? Nope, that's Country Bumpkins. Okay. That's not them either. Do they actually have territory in... No, they don't have territory in Deeb. Unlike everyone else. Hmm, maybe I need a better... Need a better source. Oh my god, that's... Oh no, okay, so those guys are definitely a Carl, and they definitely do not like me. They are definitely marked as... as... bad. Uh, in that case... Getting the Akal one is gonna be tricky. Do, am I gonna have to, like, defeat him in combat and then talk to him? That's all I got. Oh, there she is. Oh, she's taking Kebwe Keep. Uh, actually, I want to talk to Rebia. Darkens Rebia are locked in combat against the Dibs Ruha. What should we do? Oh, there's Ruha. Sting off quietly. I'll just let them sort that out, I think. 
So wait, who who are the Akal up against? They're they're up against the Darken as well, right? No. Interesting. So they're up against the Thur and the Deep. So that's Umbra Cliffs and the Zagros Mountains. Interesting. Very, very interesting. So they're only at war with the Deep. Wow. I'll tell you what, the poor Deep, they're at war with everyone. They are literally at war with everyone. Jeez. Okay, well, it sounds like their leader is a bit of a bit of a dick, so maybe they deserve it, but still. Alright, well I'll just fight some just generic generic baddies. And that should carry us through to when that siege is over. Boom. And then big bomb. Easy. Alright, Rebio, have you won yet? Nope, still going. Wow, White, White Rose Alchemist Squadron. That sounds pretty handy to have. Wow, these battles go on forever. There's a lot of Akal guys there. I could probably step in and help, but... I don't know if I wanna. There is one enemy general there, or one deep general. Everything else is just Akal. Christ. And you guys are fighting as well. Can you go? Okay, there we go. Oh, she failed. Oh. Ruha. Um, have a ceasefire tree. You have a ceasefire tree in your hands. Must be signed if the Efreet and mankind are ever to find peace and print yet another black song. Ha! Is this a joke? Peace with the Efreet? What sort of trick is this? But I'll give you what the I'll give you that they're not an easy foe to face. I have no desire to see these mountains covered in fire instead of snow. Sure. Really? Then. Ah! You didn't think it was going to be that easy, did you? I need something from you, of course. There is someone in this land who calls himself Swordmaster. His skills with a sword are said to have no rival in the land. But he is a total maverick who refuses to serve to serve the clan, eventually becoming hunted by all the clans. It is my dream to face him in battle, one on one. I hear that the Swordmaster is currently staying at Limestone Village. Find him and convince him to duel me. Won't be easy, of course, but that's what I that's why I want you to do it. Do it or get out of my sight. Can I have to seek the Swordmaster? Sure. Why are you wasting your time here then? And just so you don't say I didn't warn you, the Swordmaster is said to be an eccentric personality, so it's not going to be easy to convince him. Cool. Wow, he has like all of his generals here. Ooh, no wonder she failed. It was like a 1 against 8. <laughs> the, the classic 1v8 scenario. So they said he was at Limestone Village. Which I think is down here, right? No? Limestone. It's gonna be up here again. No? I have no idea where that is. I'm probably just blind. Oh, no, they're, they're just in the same lands. Oh, that's easy. We'll go nice and quick and sort that out. I'm gonna stay the hell away from that. The Akal's Bahat defeated the Deep Zealous in battle. Okay. So that's. That's that big battle we just saw. Because <laughs> I imagine Rebi is probably going to take a little bit to like come back to life. Maybe? I don't know how it works in this. Maybe she literally just respawns at her village. At Paparigio village with like no men and she has to retrain them. Maybe she respawns with her honor guard. I, I don't know. This is just what I'm guessing. Have we been to Limestone Village? No. Wow, it's like the only place you haven't been. Cool. Wait, also, is there a portal back here? It looks like there's a portal on the map. Right up here. Nope. Just looks like it on the map. That's weird. 
There's like a weird, you know, circular bit there. Hmm. Whatever. Onwards to Limestone Village, which is just to the right here. Nice and out of the way, probably hasn't seen much fighting. Although I guess they're kind of all out of the way until they're not. Oh, there is. Swordmaster. Are you looking for me? Yes, I've been tasked to find you. I come and go with the wind. Are you the wind? Swordmaster's gaze meets yours and you feel a chill run down your spine. Wind isn't the only thing that can take you. True, you could be swayed by fine wine and beautiful women. Swordmaster gets up and walks towards you in a leisurely manner. Or a strong will. Whatever happens to this world does not concern me, but if you can prove to me the force of your will, I might be persuaded to go with you. How do I prove it? Go to the northeast of Frost Valley, to the bottom of the cliffs. The cursed monsters there have long been the bane of the mountains. Cleanse the filth unscathed, and I'll go with you. Remember, you must complete this task unscathed. The utmost focus is required to emerge unscathed. I've crossed paths with the monster, and even for me it's no mean feat. Go and demonstrate to me the strength of your will. Uh, Frost Valley. Okay, this is literally just up the road. <laughs> Northeast edge of Frost Valley. Yeah, it's just... Literally just go around the corner. Catch a taxi. <laughs> Oop, I'll pinch that. Don't just pick any old plants you find on the side of the road that you don't recognize. Oh! So that's a special plant. Interesting. So we have to do this unscathed. I'm thinking there is either a way to talk myself out of it, or I'm going to have to be incredibly careful. Or I just send the party members in to do it, I suppose. That's that's the other answer. Alright, I'd say this is it. Here it is. Swordmaster's task is to defeat the beast unscathed. You will fail the task if you take a single hit. Proceed. Sure. Oh my god, this is going to be a pain in the ass. Oop, okay. I, I deserve that. I stood around for way too long. With enemies in hot pursuit, your subordinates abandon precious iron stone. No, no. No, we're not, we're not doing this. We're not doing that. No, no, no. We're just going to try again. Okay, so I can't do anything that really, like, locks me down. Okay, he did a thing. He's, he's watching me, so he's going to try and do a thing. Nope, don't you touch me. Am I literally just running around in circles? Okay, I mean that hurts a bit. Wow, that hurts a lot. Is he gonna do the spinny swirly thing? Yes, he is. Okay, I really just need to. I need to get enough uh, cooldown back to drop my boys again. Okay, he's gonna try and do his thing. There it is. Got him! Whew! Actually, it wasn't that bad. It was just standard, like, dart, dart round, evasion, keep an eye on the obvious, hit things on the floor, don't spend too long in one spot type boss battle. Pretty simple, although our casting time does leave something to be desired. Although I would hate to fight him up close, I feel like he would just swat at you and go, bonk, and you would fail. But maybe with some of the fighter abilities where you, like, knock them into the air, you'd be able to juggle him. Which might be another way to do it. You see the sword master leaning against a pine tree not far away, casually tossing a pine cone in his hand. Hey, I've... let's go. Sword master tosses the pine cone into the air. You see what seems to be a breeze pass by, then the pine cone explodes in the air, scattering countless pieces on the snow. You pick up one of the pieces and see an intact pine nut. In an instant, the Swordmaster had cut the pine nuts from the cone without damaging any one of them, and he did it so quickly that you only saw his very last movement, returning his sword to its sheath. You gape in amazement at the Swordmaster's skills. 
Well, they have called him the Sword Master, not the Sword. Eh, he's kind of all right. You know, I feel like it's in the name. Uh, right, so now we have to go back to Kebui Keep, because that's where uh, Old Mate was. Ruha. Ruha. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Keep running along. Hopefully we can finish this and then that's at least... I know, we've accomplished something in this one that wasn't just running around. There is a lot of just running around in this game now. At the start, there was not that much. There was always stuff to do, but now we sort of hit the point where it's just running from one end of the map to the other and back again. And I don't just like that. I think every game sort of has that point. I just wish there was a fast way to do it. Like, if you could fast travel to each, to each city or, like, town or whatever, at least if they were neutral to you, um, that would be pretty good. That, that'd be fine. Oh god, they're under attack from the Akal, aren't they? That's a lot of boys! I don't know who's gonna win this one. Okay, we're gonna go back to Rebia. We'll, we'll come back to Ruhar in a bit. We'll come back to him later. So, okay, in that... Is the Nazir at war with... The third. Okay, so they don't know where the enemy is. That's that's why they didn't know where Ruha or um, the other guy was. Kodal Khan or whatever his name was. I'm pretty sure that's from Mortal Kombat, but same thing. Uh, Rebia! How are we doing? What is it you want? Uh, I brought Dahlia, the woman you asked for. Ah, look at this. It's my precious. Probably a daughter. Welcome, my hero, my sweet little apothecary. Why do you want her? She didn't tell you? Oh. Well, now, that's a good girl. Come, Dahlia, we have some girls' talk to do. Dahlia walks towards Rebia, expressionless. Suddenly she turns back at you and says, I used to serve Sultan Hassan. Come now, dear girl, what use is it to tell this to an outsider? You don't need to serve him anymore. You'll be my personal apothecary now. Rebbe assigned the ceasefire. You think back to what Dali said, but you do not understand. Regardless, the Dark gonna put their name on the parchment. It is a step forward. Nice! Okay. Well, we are gonna leave this episode here. So, guys, thank you very much, everyone, for watching. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you wanna see more content from me, the Aussie Nerd, feel free to subscribe to my channel and check out the other videos on there. If you think you know any friends of mine enjoy my content, make sure you share a video or two with them. Really appreciate it. And finally, if you wanna leave any hints, tips, tricks, feedback for videos, or you just want to say hi, make sure you do so in the comments section down below so I can see it. And I'll see all of you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.